Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. Today we will be discussing in detail about how to analyze the performance of mobile application. Here our mobile application can be an Android application, iOS application or Windows application. So any type of mobile application, whenever we are going to start with performance testing of the mobile application, what all matrices should we consider? All that we are going to consider in this session. Today we will cover different type of app performance matrices. In this we will look into what all device resource usage we should consider. Then we will look into rendering of screens. Also what type of errors we can consider for performance testing. Then the backend checks. This we are going to look into with the response time as our matrice. And finally we will look into how we can detect issues. From the above matrices, the collection of data which we have from above matrices, we are going to look into how the actual performance issues detection can be carried out. So let's begin. First, we'll look into device resource usage. In this, obviously, the major aspect would be CPU usage. So whenever we are using the application, at that particular instance, what is the CPU usage of the application? that matrice we are going to collect next would always be memory because what type of memory usage is considered at as a particular functionality will also play a major role for performance next would be data sent and received by the app if we are again performing a specific functionality and there is a huge chunk of data which has been sent and received but that is not required actually so we can even monitor our application using this and next would be our battery usage so how much battery is particularly used by our application also matters a lot if it is about the performance matrices of device resource usage so all these four parameters will always come under the device resource usage next would be the rendering time this is to measure how app is you know drawn on the device how app is retrieved on the device with different screens so the major aspect would be our render time suppose you are testing some functionality uh, suppose it is an amazon application and you are just dealing with or you are just searching some item in amazon application so what is the render time in which you are able to fetch the data for that particular items on amazon app would be considered in microseconds and that would be the aspect as a render time next would be frames per second so if you are switching between different screens suppose there is one particular item on which you click and then you want to fetch details about that particular item so what is the frames switching time okay so that is called frames per second so how many frames per second an application is able to load decides the performance of that application in terms of rendering and next would be the render lags so suppose when you're testing the application or when you're using the application you are able to see some lags this usually comes with heavy application usage in terms of heavy screen uh, you know dependent application and this is particularly seen in gaming applications so suppose there are many screens which are going on graphic usage is huge on the application in that case you will be following a render lags so it is ideally slow rendering of frames in the application let's look into other matrices here so now we have looked into resource usage and rendering time after that what all are the errors through which we can monitor the performance so there would be some exceptions which are coming up so exceptions would be a possible scenario where performance of the application can be tackled out right like you're actually using the application and a particular functionality and you have seen an exception in in terms of an error code where you're not able to fetch the screen or you're not able to retrieve data for that particular application so this will come under errors next would be your app not responding state where again whenever you are using the application in certain aspect you are not able to see the app that is responding so the screen is freezed or the 
app is moving very slowly or the app itself has you know closed in the back end so that will come under app not responding state and this is very harsh in terms of the performance of application so this is an actual important step wherein the functionality of app itself is not working and next would be a crash so suppose you are using the application and it just force closes so in that case you will have to relaunch the application and again perform the functionality so for this in 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 terms of users usage it is a very bad aspect and we should be avoiding all the type of errors that is exceptions then your app not responding and crashes so we should be noting this down we should be collecting the logs for this and we should be presenting it in terms of actually handling the performance scenarios next is till now whatever we have seen was all about the front end checks like whenever you are using the application what all happens now this response time is particularly considered in terms of back end checks so when we talk about back end checks it is in terms of a client server aspect of the application that particular art architecture whenever user is using the application application is obviously retrieving all the data from the back end database or the back end servers so whenever an api is hit he is able to fetch that particular data and show it to the customer so what all matrices what all types we can consider under this backend checks here it will always be the server response time so whenever we are checking any particular application again if we consider amazon app we have just fetched the types of mobiles on it we have just clicked on mobile obviously the filter will be strengthened in terms of it will fetch all the mobiles in the list so the server will be giving certain list of mobiles which needs to be displayed to the user so that particular server response time should be as less as possible so there are particular standards we'll look into it in detail in the next um, learning which we are going to have but server response time is a major aspect of backend checks next would be the database response time as discussed in the client server architecture we have a server and we have a database so server will always retrieve data from the database so again database data will be retrieved in terms of queries which are fetched so suppose user wants to retrieve all the mobiles in the list if you are talking about amazon application there the query will be fetched in terms of select star from mobiles so obviously the mobiles will have some parameters in the list and proper checks so that particular set of mobile will be displayed but that will be retrieved from the database so the database response time also plays a major role in terms of performance of the application next would be the network latency so suppose our server end network is not working properly or client end network is not working properly so in that case we should be throwing proper errors we should be throwing proper gifs in terms of loading screens so that user is not stuck and he is aware that the network itself is not working properly or the network itself is slow so i may be able to find a few hiccups when i am using the application next would be the screen drawing time obviously whenever the screen is loaded suppose in the fps itself we have seen in whenever my fps is loaded my frame is loaded but obviously the data will be displayed by the server and database so whatever data i am going to be fetching from the server that is going to be displayed in my screen so till the time the data is not retrieved even if i am able to see the screen on ui i won't be able to use the functionality so screen drawing time from back end perspective also plays a important role next is our app startup time so whenever we are launching the application again there are few apis which are hit to retrieve the latest data and show it to the user so that particular aspect also plays a major role in terms of back end checks and next is app background so suppose our app is in the background or we are using the application but we received a call we received a message we switched to some other application once we use that application we again came back to finish whatever we were doing on our application in that case how our application is performing in the background also plays an important role let's suppose we have just place our app in the background and when we again clicked on the application whatever we had stored on the database or whatever we have stored on the screen has been removed and user has to perform the whole functionality again obviously it is applicable for security applications their user needs to log in and do everything but when it comes to certain user apps like maybe amazon flipkart in that case there the data should be stored 
an user should be able to move ahead so that will come under our app background checks now we have seen the matrices from client and server aspect or from the front end and back end aspect how we can actually check the performance of the client now let's see how on what issues should be considered when we are testing the performance so first would be memory leaks whenever we are using the application sometimes it will get stuck or sometimes you know it goes to non responding state so memory leaks talks about whenever we are switching from different screens different functionalities the back tracking of the data should be deleted all the threads which were opened for a particular application that should be closed which are not at all important which should not be running in the background and then we can avoid memory leaks next would be our screen freezes time so obviously whenever you are using the application in terms of you know uh, a heavy application or even the normal application and suppose the screen is freezing so in that case that particular issue can be noted and that should be fixed next would be crashes as we saw in the app non responding slide there we talked about crashes so all the crashes which are appeared should be noted and should be fixed crashes may come because of device dependency os dependency some specific vendor dependency so your app may be working on android 10 properly but on android 12 it is giving certain problems so there the crash observed or memory leaks observed or screen freeze observed is huge so in that case also we should be properly categorizing and you know fixing those issues and next would be our startup and transactional issues so obviously startup and transactional would come about how my app is behaving at the time of whenever i am launching the application and what is the transactional issues so what is the frame per seconds rate for my particular application that also should be considered when we are actually dealing with the flow of application so these are the major aspects which we should consider when we are talking about the performance issues and their detection and this should be noted and fixed so that our application is properly categorized and used going ahead so this was about in detail how we can categorize and how we can test the mobile application from performance aspect of it so stay tuned in the next session we are going to look into an aptin tool which is basically going to deal with all the features or all the factors which we just saw from performance testing of a mobile application so we'll be talking about in in detail in the next session don't forget to subscribe non functional club channel you can paste your queries in the comment section i will reply to it as soon as possible hope this session was useful thank you